Hey there. Today I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. Uh, I was on watching YouTube. Um, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics does her paintings this way and I really liked them. I really loved a lot of her work. So I'm going to try it myself. I don't know if there's a name for it at all, um, but I will try it and you'll see. You'll see. So to start out with the paints I have, I'm going to call them fall colors really, uh, since it is fall. I've got um, black, flow acrylic, artist loft flow acrylic black, um, house paint white, and um, artist loft vermilion. Uh, PBO Studio uh, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. I've got Amsterdam Orange Azo, Azo, whatever. And also Amsterdam Transparent Yellow Medium. I mix my paints with Floetrol. Um, these are tube paints, most of them, except for um, the Artist Loft White and Black. The Artist Loft White and Black I would use a uh, one-to-one -one ratio of flow troll and paint and the other ones, the tube ones, I use one one part paint, um, one part or two parts uh, flow troll and then I add water to make it the uh, right consistency which I will show you right now. Okay, I'm just gonna tilt the camera a little bit so you can see. And try and get it so that you can see here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I've got three cups and they are three ounce cups. I'm going to probably put about three quarters of the way, um, layer the paint in the three cups. My canvas is just an 8 by 10 canvas. So I'll start with the white. Let's make sure you can see. Yep. I'll just move this over a little bit. And I'll start with... Oh, before I go ahead and do this, um, I'm going to be putting coconut milk break anti breakage serum in uh, the colors, and it's got dimethicone in it, and it should help help for cells. So probably put you now maybe two drops each in it. Hopefully, I'll get. The right amount because sometimes this pump one two doesn't pumps too much it comes out in a stream sometimes one two one two one two okay and give that a stir stir them as I pour them in. So I'm going to start with a white. stirred this one. I'm going to start with this one.
stuk af. Do the... What should I do next? I'll do some yellow. Color. Uh, what did I do? I did this one and I did this one. I will do red. Is that a stir? Next, I didn't put any uh, dimethicone in the black or white. Just do it a little bit of that. I don't want too much black. And this one next. Stir it. Kind of looks like Halloween colors. Oh, fall colors, same thing, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of white. of this. Just a little bit of black. I don't want too much, so I'm just going to drizzle it on. And start with this color again and go on, continue with this color. At the end of the video, if everything goes well, I will show you the dried results. 
as I always do at the end of my videos. And in the description below my videos, I always mark, uh, write in the, um, the names of the paints um, and my recipe for flow troll and water. Um, I add that in there so you can, in case you want to know the colors. Okay, it's getting full. really sure if I have too much paint or not enough. I don't know. Uh, okay, what I'll do is I'm going to put in some red. There, there, there. Oh no, I didn't put this in yet. I'm going to alternate it. I'm going to put a little bit of red and then that color. That's really nice color. I don't know if I mentioned this is brilliant red. I think I did. Oops. Mm, more white. Some yellow. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to put white against black, you get gray, but I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Not a whole lot. Okay, almost done. Just a little bit of yellow. It's a little bit fuller than I planned, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the paint away. I'm going to pause the camera for a bit and I'll come back and I'll be ready to, to uh, flip and then uh, move it around. Okay, I'm ready to go. So I am just, uh, before I do that, just to show you, I got a little canvas under here. In case I have a whole lot of paint, I can drip some on there and use that. So I'm just going to quickly uh, okay, flip them. Just let them sit for a minute. It's already looking cool right here. I'm just getting my heat gun ready. And I zoomed you in a little bit too, so you can see better. Just make sure you. Can see? Okay. So I hope I do this right. Um, I'm just gonna grab the cup and pull this way. Give it a little bit of a turn. Oh. Uh, and I got it. Almost got it on myself. Do the same with this, but go the other way. Oops. And save some of that paint. That is 
pretty awesome. So, just going to move it a little bit. It's supposed to be more lines, but I guess because it's such a small canvas and I use too much paint. a lot of white in that corner but it kind of looks cool so I think I will just leave it um, I don't really want to move it too anymore so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up this move this around Set that over there, and I'm going to wipe my hands off. Bring this back over so you can see it. just going to I have some paint left in the cup here I'm gonna just pour some on the edges where the paint didn't quite overflow corner pretty cool I'm just gonna get my heat gun and see if I can pop the air bubbles, get some more cells.
all I'm going to do there. I just need to fix this end here. Just going to run my stick along the bottom so that it doesn't pull the paint on any more of the paint off. That's it. I think I like it. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm going to bring it up to the camera just so you can see a little bit closer. Slowly so it stays in focus. Lots of really cool stuff going on in here. So, that's it for today. If you like my videos, uh, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications. Like it if you do like it. And uh, I will see you on my next video. But before that, I will come back and I will show you the dried results of this. So thanks, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye, have a good day. Hi there, I'm back and this painting is dry. It hasn't changed uh, at all from when I poured. You know, maybe slightly, but it looks pretty good. Tried, dried really nice. I will zoom in for you, show you a close up. So, um, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.